His basketball coach says he loved the game. He loved being on the team and he knew how to make the plays to get the team a win. Now they're trying to make sense of his death after his family says the team participated in the one chip challenge while he was here at school. He did all the things that mattered. Douglas Hill coached Harris Wollaba at St. Bernard Gym. He says the 14 year old was quiet and reserved, but was finding himself on the court. I think basketball provided a very specific environment for him where he could be free. His family says the high school sophomore took part in the one chip challenge, eating a single tortilla chip seasoned with some of the world's hottest peppers at school last week. They say he died several hours later. It just pauses you for a moment there, you know, makes you question what is going on. How did this happen? Father Jonathan Slavinskis prayed with Harris's family during this unthinkable loss. No one wants the weight of this pain upon their hearts and they have a weight. While officials say it's too early to know if the chip contributed to Harris's death, doctors say when people ingest capsaicin, an ingredient found naturally in the peppers used on the chip, side effects can be dangerous. Sometimes we see people that will have a lot of chest pain or they'll experience things like palpitations as well. So a whole variety of issues that we're seeing with this um, one chip challenge. As they begin processing his death, Harris's friends, teammates and coaches are honoring his life. So my whole thought process was, you know, how do we honor him? And it's through the game that he loved. Now the team will be holding a charity basketball event this Saturday for Harris's family. And this is the chip involved in that challenge. On the back of the box, there's a clear warning that this is not intended for children. We reached out to the company that makes this chip, Pocky, but haven't heard back. Live in Worcester, Emily Maha, WCVB News Center 5.